how do you characterize what happened in the, in the last 18 months or so? Um, I thought offensively they turned up their pressure. They started to attack off the bounce. You know, uh, they played with a lot of speed and a lot of force to get into the paint. Once they got into the paint, you know, they were able to kick out the guys. Um, you know, they did a really good job of moving and relocating. So when we would go in to help, you know, we would expect our guy to be you know, where we left him. Uh, he had moved on to another spot. Um, and you know they knocked down shots. When they needed, they got key offensive rebounds when they needed to. Um, but, you know, I thought their penetration, especially in that fourth quarter, uh, really hurt us. Other questions? Can you describe what that final play was supposed to be or what happened with Kyle on the final play? Um, you're talking about the one where he took the shot or Mike? Took, took like three shots there. The yeah. Uh, I mean, we drew it up um, to get you know, Mike the ball in his hands. The way they played him, uh, Kyle ended up in the pocket, um, you know, had an opportunity to make a play, made the hustle play to chase the ball down. But unfortunately, uh, you know, his heels were on the baseline. Anything else? With everything that's been swirling around this team lately, what, how do you move on from a loss like this? How, how do you how do you deal with it in the locker room? What did you say after the after a game like this? I mean, you know, we discussed what we thought happened, um, but we've got no choice but to move on. That's the nature of this business. Uh, you know, we'll fly to Minnesota tomorrow. We'll strap them on and compete Wednesday night. Every single game is a new day, no matter what happened the night before, uh, no matter what happened in the last five nights. You know, Wednesday is a new opportunity. That's the way we got to view it. Bruno, uh, he had a pretty good game Saturday. I guess overall, how would you characterize his performance tonight? And even when the shot's not falling, what does he give you? Well, I mean, at his length, uh, I think he does a good job defensively of uh, guarding smalls and guarding. Uh, multiple positions. Um, you know, the threat of the shot is there, so people close him out uh, and challenge his shot. So now he creates a lot of space for other people. Um, you know, like I said, shots didn't go tonight. There were shots that, you know, for the most part, I think we liked. You know, there's a couple that may have been contested, but uh, I think for the most part, he took the shots that we would like him to take. What did you see out of Mark tonight, especially there in that first half? What just how, how good was it to see him like that again? I mean, I think we all know how good Mark is as a player. Um, you know, the way he came out, as aggressive as he was, uh, you know, attack-minded. Uh, I think he energized the team. You know, they felt that spirit. Um, and he was carrying us along, and everybody was following. Um, so it was good to see. Last question for Peter. How difficult was it with, at the end without Jaron, who was pretty productive albeit with some, with some foul issues? He picks up those two late ones. What went through your mind in, in terms of bringing Noah back in and turning the board? At that point, I thought you know we needed some stops uh, and we needed to rebound the ball. Um, and you know, Jokic and Millsap uh, at that point were kind of the focal point of where the ball was going. Um, so you know, you have two defensive players of the year. Uh, on your roster, it's an opportunity to put them out there, um, you know, and accept that challenge. So I thought, uh, you know, overall he had done a really good job defensively. Uh, you know, his ability to rebound the basketball down the stretch, we were going to need to get stops. Um, so I thought those guys were there, uh, good enough to take the challenge. All right, thank you. Thank you, guys. Okay.